For the past decade, mule deer numbers have been declining across the western U.S., including populations in Wyoming. The Wyoming Range Mule Deer Project, a five-year study of the Wyoming Range Mule Deer Herd in western Wyoming, began in March of 2013 with the capture of 70 does in the Big Piney, LaBarge, and Kemmerer Evanston areas. Last month, researchers returned to the region for the sixth time since then, continuing data collection. In 2013, the does were fitted with a GPS data collar to track their movement, survival, and reproduction, and to learn which habitats they choose on both winter and summer ranges. Phase one of this study examined the nutritional condition of plants and shrubs on winter and summer ranges, as well as stopover points. These are the habitats deer use during migration. One way to measure that is with ultrasonography, to measure changes in body fat as deer enter and leave winter ranges. Wyoming Game and Fish Department biologist Gary Fralick. So we're taking two measurements, uh, the measurement, body condition measurement coming into the winter and then again in March. And that March measurement uh, gives us an idea uh, on their body condition as they leave the winter ranges on their way back to summer ranges. Uh, that way we can compare and assess the quality of the habitat on the winter range as well as the summer range by the percentage of the amount of fat that they use through the winter and ultimately depart the winter range with. Phase two evaluates fawn survival. That begins by tracking mama to where she gives birth and placing an expandable radio collar on the fawn. Once we do that, then we have an assessment and ability to evaluate whether those fawns live or die. And if they, if they do die, then we can go back into the site and uh, begin collecting the information or evaluate and identify the reason why they were died, whether it was from uh, being stillborn perhaps, uh, malnutrition, or, or killed by a predator. This project is the largest of its kind in Wyoming. Some of these does have been recaptured as many as six times, providing a wealth of data to researchers. The Wyoming Range Mule Deer Herd has been relatively stagnant since the early 1990s. Over the last 22 years, doe fawn ratios have fallen 25 percent to around 65 fawns per 100 does. Knowing the factors to deer survival and reproduction helps wildlife managers learn how mule deer respond to habitat loss, disturbances, and development on the landscape, and how to possibly improve habitat to improve deer numbers. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.